Hey everyone, what's up? Um, first of all, I hope you all had a happy Easter. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll say this about my family, especially my uh, second, oh, my second oldest sister. You know, I brought this out, using it and all that, and she decided, oh, okay. You know, they, they like to tease, they'll joke around, kind of show off what they got as well. So she shows me that she's got this new Samsung uh, camera. It's basically sort of similar to, sort of similar to a regular camera in a sense, kind of like more photography-wise camera. And it's obviously it costs a little, probably just it probably costs a little cheaper than this, maybe a little more. I'm not really saying. I think maybe a little cheaper, but it does have some unique features. I mean, unlike this one, and <laughs> you know any other camera like this, or. It doesn't have a flash, but that's okay. Neither does the Kindle. And everybody uses the Kindle sometimes, right? Androids don't have... Android tablets and iPads don't have flashes. This doesn't have a flash. I'm pretty sure some of the newer ones do, but this... You get the idea. And heck, some people don't even use flash when it comes to the pictures. <laughs> but I'm happy she's got it. And uh, I knew it was coming, apparently. I mean, she told me she was going to get one because, you know, they're going to go see my... A uh, nephew graduate this week uh, from Navy boot camp. So unless things change, which I don't think they will, because they would have found out by now. Um, but yeah, I hope you all had a happy Easter. And again, I'm happy my sister got one like that. It's pretty impressive. I don't know what brand. It's a Samsung, but you know what? I'm not going to go out and get one. I'm, I'm happy with what I got here because. The feature that this one has, I don't know if that one has it, but this has, is 60 frames per second when you record. And 60 frames per second is pretty good. It really is. Um, but, as well as you can take uh, pictures while you're wa recording video and also take pictures while you're watching the recorded video as well. I think hers does similar. Maybe one feature missing, I'm not really sure. But, Anyway, I'm happy she got one, and you know, I know everybody's going to have to get upgraded, and I know my older sister's going to probably do the same down the line, we just don't know when. Anyway, now for a bit of a channel update, because as you can see down in the title, or above, depending on how you're watching this, um, this is a channel slash haul slash Blu-ray DVD update. Now, first of all, the channel portion. Um, as you all know, I'm using the Canon um, RF XVD uh, RF five uh, the Canon Xvidi HF Xvidi five hundred or whatever it's called. And I've been doing a lot of my videos in sixty frames per second at ten eighty p. Now, the only problem lately is they would always switch over and go into two parts. Now maybe that'll still happen, I'm not really saying it will or won't, because recently I purchased a um, 64 gigabyte uh, uh, 64 gigabyte uh, di um, memory card and I put it um, in place of this. Now the 32 gigabyte is wiped clean, it's set to go. I'm going to give that one to my mom because she too is going to go see my nephew graduate from Navy boot camp and in that way she can use her camera and from what I've seen that gives over like 2,000 pictures to you so she won't run out of space, believe me. She won't. And how do I know this? Because my, um, what is it, my my Kodak 570 camera, which is that chubby silver one I have, I'm sure you guys have seen it. When I placed uh, the 32 gigabyte in there, it showed that it could hold almost a thousand, almost a million pictures in one in a camera that only filmed at 480p. Uh, and that's great. Spilled some of myself and on my new T-shirt. Talk about that later. Yeah, why be cool? Why be fine. She'd be okay. Yeah, it'd be fine. Just a little bit of coffee. Um, but yeah, uh, I replaced it with a 64 gig 
Might jump up and do 128 gigs down the line, but we'll see about that. Uh, but mainly what 64 gigs gives me on here is five hours in five minutes, basically two and a half more hours, two hours and 35 minutes more. So that's plenty of time and obviously gives me a lot of photos to work with as well. So again, I'm not really sure if this is still going to break into two parts or it just might be one semi-part. I don't know. So, uh, but yeah, that's how I'm going to be filming now. Like I said, 32 gigs is going to be with my mom from now on so she can have uh, more pictures to, to work with. Because the one she has right now, which is a 4 gigabyte uh, card, only gives her up to about, I'm trying to think, gives her up to about 300 and... 337 videos almost. I mean pictures, I should say. Gives her about 330 uh, pictures. And I don't think gives her that much time when it comes to video, but we'll see what this one does. Um, with that said, though, speaking of this channel, in the next few days, because the countdown is on, folks, I will have this place to myself. Now, I have the place to myself now because my mom's back at work. I'm going to have the place mostly to myself tomorrow until about 5.24 when I have to leave for work. Because i got to do a, an, an evening shift. So i got to do an evening shift tomorrow. So, I gotta be, so I'm only going to have this up until, I could say, 5.24, between 5 and 6 o'clock. Let's just put it that way. And, um, like I said... Like I said, I'm going to have the place to myself um, up till then. And then Wednesday, of course, I'll be off. I'm going to be off for the next five days after Tuesday. Mostly because they gave me Wednesday off and I requested the other four off. But, um, like I said, with that said, uh, with that said, I'm going to have all those days off. Wednesday is going to be a little bit like half of the day is going to be you know, ha ba basically it's going to start like this. All of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, place to myself. Um, Monday, I'll be back at work, basically 9 to 6. But I'll have the place still to myself because my mom's flight doesn't come in until about almost between 9 and 10 that night. So, and they're going to be in, and they're in the Bay Area. They're in the Bay Area, so the, and they got to wait for the luggage and everything, and she won't be home until maybe almost midnight, a little afterwards, if they drive through. Uh, my, my assumption is, one, they're probably going to do that, or two, they might stay at my brother-in-law's mom again, mother's again, stay at my brother-in-law's mother's again, because they got to go there, well, wait a minute, they don't have to go there, do they? So, well, again, it's all going to depend on how long I have to wait for the luggage to pop up and everything. But, yeah, like I said, um, it's basically about two and a half days now. Basically a day and a half. The rest of today, all of tomorrow, and half of the next day. So basically about around two days, if you want to look at it like that. Um, that, I'll, that I'll have the place to my... To I have the place to myself for about five days total. Because I, what I look at is I count the, the moment they leave, which will be probably half of that, to all of Thursday, all of Friday, all of Saturday and Sunday, and somewhat of Monday. Because this is what I look at. I look at, the, I look at having... Three hours in the morning to myself, an hour to myself when I come home for lunch, and then at least maybe six seven hours after I get off work, about six and a half seven hours uh, before she comes home. I, I'm assuming this is what I'm assuming because the flight gets in at a certain time frame that, like I said, between nine and ten that I'm assuming she'll be back by at least maybe 1 o'clock in the morning. 
That's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm assuming. So, uh, so yeah, that's. <coughs> so yeah, basically that's that's what's going to happen there. So, but that's going on with this channel. What that means for this channel is it's going to be more videos going up, hopefully as well. And I get to do whatever I want and on at that time as well. Oh, I, in fact, my, my plan, my major plan, um, for maybe the first evening going into the next day, maybe the next day, next day, at least one of those days is just go Major League BB, if you know what I mean, and possibly on a few days, because I don't really get an opportunity like this all the time. I don't really do it. So, it's going to be Major BB all the way, maybe. If you know what BB means. But, uh, also, that's really going to be about it. I mean, I'm going to try to do a package opening this week as well. Like I said, probably do more videos, try to get a lot of stuff out of the way, because you don't really, I mean, when I have a day off like this and my mom's working, yeah, I have plenty of time to do videos, but I like to rest at times too, so I have plenty of time to do videos and do videos when I have to do them or when I want to do them, but especially like in the evening and all that, because I won't have to worry about that um, at all. Um, okay. So that's basically what's going on with this channel. Yes, there'll be more fan vids coming. Uh, don't worry about that. I still have to re, um, redo some fan vids, re-upload them, and see where we go from there. And really, that's all I have to say. Um, now, on to the haul portion. Now, the haul of this video, now the haul uh, portion of this video, or videos, depending on if it does split into two, <coughs> The haul po portion is basically what I've picked up. They're all non Blu ray, non DVD wise, but what I've picked up haul wise. And first of all, like I said earlier, I mentioned this t shirt. I'm, I picked this up, this part of the haul, I picked this up at my job. My job's been selling a lot of wrestling t shirts lately. So I picked this one up a little before WrestleMania, as you can see. I also picked up the WrestleMania t WrestleMania t-shirt you saw in my live reactions video. We have another one as well. I don't know if it's still there or not, but I'll probably get that as well. And I think you may have seen it, you may have not. I picked up a blue Superman uh, t-shirt. I picked up an Avengers Age of Ultron t-shirt, which we have in my job. And I picked up a Daniel Bryan Yes, Yes, Yes t-shirt at my job. So, clothing-wise, that's what I've picked up from there. Now, otherwise, gaming-wise, what did I pick up? Well, if I can find it here. Hold on for a sec. That's, that's the cat she wants out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cat wanted back in the room and all she back in the room, so I put it in there. <laughs> um, but like I said, what did I pick up non-video besides these clothes, besides the t-shirts and uh, non-gaming, you know, non uh, non-Blu-ray DVD wise? Well, I will say this. I did get 
when I heard uh, Andre of Black Nerd Comedy talk about it, um, I did finally, I did get AVGN, the Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures video game. I got that when it finally came on the Wii U. Now here's a game that a lot of people have been wanting to see on the Wii U. Heard it was going to be on the Wii, then eventually the Wii U, but there was nothing until just now. So yeah, AVGN Adventures, finally got it on the Wii U, and I did purchase it. And believe it or not, it is a very, <laughs> uh, very, it's it, it, basically everything James said in his review of the game as AVGN. It's everything that James, as Angry Video Game Nerd, said in his review of the AVGN Adventures and all the Angry Video Game Nerd related games. It's basically everything he said. It's basically very hard. It's difficult. I mean, easy makes it a little easier, but not very much. So, and I think you can kind of tell that this is a parody of a lot of games that James has reviewed as AVGN and, um, you know, how he's always complained how this is difficult, how this is stupid and all that. So it's basically a parody of that all the way. <coughs> Excuse me. But, yeah, it's basically a parody of that. So, what else did I get? What else did I get to, um, you know, that's non-video game, not non-video game, that is non-DVD Blu-ray wise. Excuse me. What else did I get? I was just checking outside. But what else did I get? That is non-DVD uh, Blu-ray wise, but is video game related? How about I got my fourth PS4 game? Now, the two I have physically are Injustice and WWE 2K15. The one that I have digitally downloaded straight from uh, PlayStation as a game on demand is Madden uh, 25. <coughs> so, uh, what did I get to add to that? How about the very recently released MLB The Show? It's about MLB The Show. MLB 15 The Show. Um, of course, there's no real instruction manuals except for what's on the back here. So, I think you're going to have to um, I think you got to go online and download the manual or something. But uh, it's actually pretty good. It's actually a pretty fun game. The graphics are definitely very well detailed. It almost feels like you're playing an actual game. It really does. It does feel like you're playing an actual baseball game. Um, like I said, the graphics are great. Um, like I said, the graphics are great, tremendous. Uh, the only thing that might frustrate people at first when they either physically purchase this game or even download it um, on the PlayStation 4s, the only, and maybe the PS3s, the only thing that might frustrate people um, is the fact that you don't get an automatic introduction, you don't get it in automatic you know, introduction, you know, like highlights, you know, like you do with anything else, no. Instead, what you got to do is when you start the game, um, you'll get the gra the credits and all that, and you'll probably get uh, like a graphic of saying MLB the show and all that, and then you'll be uh, put right into an exhibition game featuring last year's World Series teams of the Royals and the Giants. <coughs> and you can either choose to play as the Giants or the Royals, and... The reason they put you in this game is because they want to let the, uh, one of the commentators, one of the play-by-play -play guys, I think, I can't think of his name right now, Mike Carpenter or something like that, they want to allow him to, they want to, they want to give him time to tell you, us, 